Quarterback Brandon Wimbush was a very interesting prospect coming out of high school for a lot of different reasons. The first time I saw him, I think, was in eighth or ninth grade, and he was just a kid with a huge arm. That was it. He had no accuracy. He would throw the ball 100 miles an hour, whether it was a 50-yard dart downfield or a 5-yard pass to the flat. He had no touch whatsoever. But as I watched him grow and mature as a quarterback, you know, he became a guy who added that touch added that uh, accuracy that you needed as a quarterback. And, you know, he wasn't the tallest quarterback in the world. He could run. He was very athletic, very elusive, could extend the play. Um, you know, wasn't the most accurate guy in the world. But again, his accuracy improved so much from his freshman year of high school uh, through his senior year that we were impressed. And we thought that trajectory would continue to rise as he got to college. But it really didn't. Um, he's shown flashes of consistency, but mostly it's been the lack of ability to see downfield, to see the entire field, to go through progressions, uh, to, to put touch on the football. Those have been the problems that he's continued to have. So it's interesting to see him, you know, obviously start the season as the starter, lose his job come back into an important situation and we'll see if he uh if he can stay within himself i think it's a confidence issue i think when he gets in a rhythm he's a very good quarterback and when he gets in a rhythm the touch returns and that's when he can get on a streak a hot streak of accuracy but overall i think the fact that he's got such a big strong arm hurts him a little bit at times he feels he can fit the ball into places where he can't um, and overall, his ability to see the football field and go through progressions has been a problem. So, you know, we liked him a lot. He had a high ceiling as a high school football player because we thought his trajectory of development would continue as he got to college, but it really didn't continue that much when it comes to field vision and accuracy. So we'll see how he does against Florida State. We'll see how he does moving forward as a quarterback prospect.